Yo, what's up, Joe? Coffee. Just came back from the gym and I just finished eating some food and gotta make a video. <laughs> Alright, so I'm doing a response to a uh, question to my good buddy here, Rain Duma. He says, uh, you never thought you could attach a lav mic to a smartphone, that's cool. Do you need an app to adjust the audio settings? Because I think your lav mic might be a little too sensitive when it captures audio. I don't know if it's clipping or just sounds naturally gritty, just something I noticed with my headphones. So I want to respond to uh, that first part of his comment here. Then the second part is, I know YouTube and its godforsaken algorithms extremely discourages content creators from making a variety of content on one channel, but I totally dig how you're running your channel, Joe. I'm kind of doing the same thing with mine. Only multiple YouTube channels with their own dedicated content is insanity, and I ain't, and I ain't doing that. <laughs> Alright, so there's two things I want to respond to in this comment. One is basically my mic, and uh, the two is basically the algorithms and content and whatever right so to respond to the first part of this comment yes you're right my mic is kind of sensitive i noticed i don't have it with me i'll post a picture of it and obviously the built-in mic on this phone suck ass and for the most part um i'm trying to like make it a priority to film mainly using my phone right now the reason why i want to do it in that manner is because um i have been in situations where um for example i went, I went to a zen garden right up in long beach uh, in a school and um, I had my phone on a gimbal and they actually asked me to like put it away, the gimbal part, right? A supervisor, someone I guess had a higher position whatever showed up and she said that no, it's fine, the gimbal, right? It's not a big of a deal. And uh, you know, she explained to like the people that were, you know, telling me to put it away. And she was also explaining to me that um, what happens is like a lot of people because of the garden has uh, such a nice background, good environment. You have too many people showing up with their, um, you know, the tripod stands for the cameras, professional gear, you know, without really asking for permission first. And then they want to take pictures for their, I don't know, their wedding, you know, photography. They're showing up with their gowns and shit like that. So they want people to like, you know, I guess reserve a spot for that or pay a fee to do that. I really don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much the reason why they were trying to like give me shit for using my like gimbal, right? Now, I was able to use it the rest of the day. I made my video, you know, at the Zen Garden. It was cool. Everything was fine. But that's the thing. Like, a certain areas, like, if you show up with, like, heavy-duty equipment, they're probably going to ask you to put it away or you guys to get permits or this and that, all right? And also, another thing is, like, by me just walking around with my phone, it's just I'm a guy walking around with my phone. So, it draws, like, less attention. I want to try to, like, get the environment as natural without drawing too much attention to myself you know i'll be like oh who's this guy with a camera this and that you know it's quicker you know i could just literally pull shit out i can film uh, another thing is that as is i'm one of those guys i always have a backpack on me right i carry my water my snacks and just other shit in my backpack you know i'm one of those guys as is it's, it's already heavy i mean carrying particular water or drinks and whatever you know it's just uh i don't want to add more crap to my weight but carrying heavy equipment so i'm um, also like Phones are pretty impressive in the sense of quality, right? But obviously the more expensive the phone is, the better the quality of the images. So uh, this guy cost me like 300 bucks when I got it. It does okay, you know, uh, for me starting out, it's okay. I do want to get a better phone mainly for the camera reason, for camera reasons. And uh, I've looked into like the, was it like the Samsung Galaxy Ultra or whatever? But depending on the, the version of phone that you want, those things can be up to a thousand dollars, right? Now, I don't, I'm definitely not in a position to do that. Uh, the way how I see it is that if I can get a really good image quality out of a fucking camera of a phone, then like you know I have to worry about getting a lens, getting a housing, you know, the big thing, carrying all this shit with me, yada yada. And also like you know, just like a phone, you know, they usually have built-in hand stabilizer. So if I was to film really quick with my hand. At least, you know, I do have some kind of stabilization going and stuff like that. It's mainly the reason why I'm using the phone. Now, in regards to audio, uh, and then if I use an app or something like that, actually I do. There's actually a, there's an app that I use called uh, Open Camera. You know, very simple. I started using this phone app because it's just, it's very simple and it's uh, an open source type of like project where people keep updating the, the app, right? So there's a YouTube channel that I found where like he does like uh, video tutorials on how to like film your projects using your smartphone, right? And that's one of the softwares that one of the apps that he recommends to use is uh, Open Camera. The thing is like you are, you do have control to control your ISO, uh, do like rack focusing, you know, shit like that with a smartphone by using that app, right? It opens up other possibilities. Now, if, if your camera, if your phone is not too advanced, then, you know, there are limitations, right? But, I mean, for an, uh, an app, it works well. With my smartphone, I was actually thinking about getting, like, um, a wireless um, mic kit. There's two that have my attention at the moment. One is the Rode, the Wireless Go 2. Yeah, I've seen a lot of, like, vloggers use it. You know, it's a $300 kit. 
you know, it comes with two wireless mics and a receiver, right? Now there's another wireless kit that like also has my interest. Yeah, the DJI mic, you know, kit. Now the reason why I like this one a little bit better because like uh, with the Rode, I guess you have to like charge them individually, you know, by micro USB or type C connector, I think. But with these guys, uh, the housing itself, actually, you know, you slot them in there and you just connect one plug and it charges everything at the same time. You know, and also comes in a protective case, right? So I kind of like this a little bit better, but you know, this guy's up to like the $300 range. I am inclined to invest first on a audio uh, solution to get better audio quality because there's a time when I'm like talking with my girlfriend and if we both have our own individual mic then like uh, the audio quality probably be better than what I'm using at the moment which is a hook of something to like the smartphone have like a mic pointed at me and then talk right and it does work but the audio is not that great something I guess you learn right away is that audio is definitely preferred over video image bad image quality you can you can kind of deal with it but bad audio and people won't listen because it just you know is just sounds like shit and nobody you know, people will click away so yeah <laughs> yeah you are able to connect the mic into your phone and like yeah I, it's what i'm doing at the moment and uh, it's what i'm gonna continue doing you know eventually when i get a wireless kit that's for damn sure because i want to get better audio quality first and then when i get to the point of uh in upgrading my phone i definitely want to save up for getting a, a better phone probably mean something like the um, yeah the samsung uh s23 ultra and to uh, answer i guess like the final part of your comment here my friend is algorithm discourages content creators making variety content i reached a point where like i'm making this content without really expecting much results because if you start making content and then wondering where all the views are at yeah you are gonna get fucking discouraged right now I'm kind of like more in the routine of making videos because, well, it's what I do, right? I'm an editor. I'd like to make content. I'm having fun with it, right? I am sharing it. And then like for the most part, like I have like good solid, you know, buddies like you guys that watch my stuff and you guys leave comments and then I respond and I keep it going, right? So that's pretty much where I'm at in the sense of my content, right? Algorithms, I mean, the channel will grow when it needs to or how it needs to. So I'm not too worried about, you know, accumulating a bunch of like views at the moment you know that's me personally but the way how things are going it's fine and i understand what you're saying like if you want to like if it's a bunch of money on your equipment to make like i don't know videos on tech and then you're like wondering where all the views are come they're not coming then yeah because your perspective is different right <laughs> my perspective is like you know i'm just hanging out i'm making a quick video in my living room fucking just looking like shit because i just came from the gym you know whatever but i'm chatting that's my goal with my videos and it's happening so i'm happy with that right you're saying like and like the last part of uh owning multiple channels and stuff like that um i actually did that uh when i started youtube i had like three youtube channels right i had my main one which is like uh the videos where i was trying to like do i was doing, trying to do vfx content so that was my main channel the second one it was more of a commentary like type of thing like i don't know asking questions or whatever then the third one was like behind the scenes thing right i don't know like i was just thinking too much ahead you know making all this content and spreading myself out then and all that crap and honestly yeah like you said insanity it just got to a point with me it's like dude fuck this like i don't know it's just too much for me and also like you know being honest i mean like i'm just a guy making videos for myself for my few followers so thinking that i'm gonna expand to all these youtube channels and shit like that at the time was not the best move all it did was like like you said it discouraged me big time and like uh i was like I just stopped right so but now like I got back into the routine of making my videos and then I decided you know what I'm gonna like um, branch out to like talk about movies that I watch or that I like and then I branched out to like responding to comments you know to you guys then I branched out and within my channel to like start streaming and then like you know I'm like alright I can like share me playing guitar so I was like I just like the whole my channel overall is more about me right this is me you know sharing myself with you guys and the kind of stuff that I like to do. My movies, my guitar, my video games, whatever I'm learning through editing, you know, like I'm teaching you guys. So that's really all I'm doing in this particular moment with my channel, which is me sharing my life with you, you know, through the internet. And whoever wants to come and hang out, then definitely more than welcome to you. That's, so that's my goal with my channel, right? But anyways, uh, yeah, that's all we have to say. Yeah, apologies if like the audio is clipping. I, I do my best to make sure I clean up the audio as much as I can, but like there's only so much I can do at the moment. Uh, also, I'm inside of my car, usually depending on when, uh, when I'm using that, that mic. So there could be uh, like a lot of bass or echo going in, so maybe I have to learn to not talk as loud. So there's a lot of little things I can adjust, right? So... That's okay. Anyways, uh, that's all I have to say. Thanks for the kind word and the comment, but I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys next time. Take care and peace.